1953, praise God, I was trying to pray to make a living for my family and a wife and two kids. And praise God, I was in a little old hometown, praise God, a hundred and some miles from here. And praise God, I said, I believe I could do better if I go somewhere else. Amen. Praise God, I love my family. So I left home, praise God, one morning about three o'clock in the morning with an old raggedy 49 Ford, a wife and two babies, a tank of gas, and $10. That's what I came to Dallas with. I said, if I don't find work here, I'm going further. Now look back at it now. Why was I going with ten dollars? <laughs> Amen. But pray that God had given me that faith. Pray that I wasn't thinking about that. I pray that I, I was just on my way. Pray that trying to make a living. Praise God for my family. So we came here. This was a place I didn't want to come. I didn't even like the name Dallas. And I tried going many places, but I didn't succeed nowhere but Dallas. Amen. And after we came here, pray God, we start fellowship with the churches. And then I had a terrible experience. My son, only son, pray God, he had, he had a tumor on his brain when he was seven years old. Amen. I don't go through it all, but pray God, it was a terrible experience with me and my wife. Seven years old, he had a tumor on his brain right back here. Amen. And the doctors called us and told us, praise God, he's going to have to operate on him. Praise God. And I took my son and sat him down and talked to him and let him know dad and mother loved him. Praise God. Told him what was going to take place and encouraged him to pray and believe God. Amen. And praise God. That day we was at the hospital all day from about six in the morning to seven that evening. And pray God, they didn't give us a 50-50 chance. So every time a white uniform would come around the corner of the day, would tell me, they come in and tell you you're dead. I said, devil, you're a liar, you're a liar, you're a liar. And praise God, and I guess about three o'clock, praise God, a lady came in and then sat down beside of me. She tried to consolate me, you know. Pray God, she began to tell me, pray God. Amen. I'm believing. Cheers. Herman Jr. is one of them. PJ is the other one. Son, where's the two daughters at? Where's that? I mean, amen. Praise God. Well, they hear, amen. God worked a miracle. Amen. Even though, praise God, years later the Lord called him. He was a sweet son. Never had any problem with him. Amen. He was saved. He loved God with all his heart. And pray God and find a God call him home. Amen. But pray God during that time, praise God, I was running from God. I didn't pray God. God called me to preach and I didn't want to preach. So I was running from God. And the Lord showed me a vision. Amen. Praise God of my son. Amen. I, and I made a vow to God to look like I was going through that same thing again. And the Lord knows I didn't want to go through that no more. I made a vow to God. I said, Lord, if you heal my son, I'll tell it everywhere I go. Amen. 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 I mean to keep that vow. Amen. Amen. After that, I surrendered to the Lord. Praise God. I did evangelist work for a while. Then praise God in June 1961. The Lord laid them my heart and Sister River's heart to start full gospel holy temple. Praise God. Amen. That's, we started in a barbecue pit. Amen. People used to laugh at us. Let's go to Murray's barbecue pit. Murray's cafe. But I tell you, praise God, we started there and I put full gospel barbecue pit. Amen. And I was just as proud that I am this building now. Amen. And praise God, and God began to move. Folk got saved, they got healed, they got delivered. I tell you, God worked many, many miracles. Now, I don't have time to go into all of it. Praise God, but God gave me another miracle. Praise God, you know, years ago, people would take their kids to church. They're not like they do now. Because we was having a prayer service one Friday night. Amen. We go and have prayer service when we weren't having service. 
praise God. And Sister Mary made a pallet on the floor and laid our kids down on that pallet, praise God. And we would run out to praying, and all at once a car run into that building, right where those kids were. But before that, my brother-in-law was at home, and he come down and told Sister Mary, sir, but I know y'all down here praying, so I'm going to take your kids home and put them to bed. And I guess about an hour after that, a car ran into that building right where they were laying at and tow it up. Pray we'd have lost every one of our kids if it had not been for the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm running around here inviting people to come to church. And my church tore up. Amen. They laughed and said, well, what were you doing? I said, we were praying. Oh, but that stopped the prayer meeting. But we come through many, many trials, many hard trials. Amen. But we were determined right. to do the will of God. Amen. God packed that place out. We bought another place. He packed it out. We bought another place. We packed it out. We bought another place. He packed it out. Praise God. And this time, we run out of buildings. We had to build one ourselves. So this time, we decided we build a building. Amen. But I want you to know, praise God, God began to save. And everywhere we went, praise God, God moved in a supernatural way and God is moving here in a supernatural way. We are determined to continue to do the will of God. I believe the word of God. I believe that we should live by the word of God. We should practice what we preach. Amen? Amen. Jesus said, man, should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. I believe it that way and I believe in preaching it that way. Amen. Pray God, we got some preachers here. Amen? I mean, we got some preachers that's coming on. We intend to carry this gospel everywhere. I've had the privilege to travel around the world with this gospel of deliverance. But I've been in some places overseas where they've never seen any foreign missionaries. But God took us there and brought me back. I'm encouraged. Amen. Amen. A lot of more I could tell because, pray God, but I don't want to take up a lot of time because we've got a lot to do. We want to fellowship. But pray God, this is a, a tip of pray God, why full gospel, why it is today. Amen. Pray God, we've seen God raise the dead. Praise God, over on Fordham Road, praise God. One night I took the pulpit, and during this time, praise God, we had wall-to-wall people. Amen. In the winter time, praise God, we had to keep the air conditioning running. When we come to church, folk would be lined up outside to come into church. God worked miracles. He shook Bishop College, praise God. I don't know how many people, praise God, got saved from Bishop College. Amen. But one night, praise God, I took the pulpit to preach, praise God, and the father came running through the church. Run by the earth and run right down to the pulpit and had a baby in his arm and he shoved that baby in my arm. The place was packed. And I looked at it and I said, my, this baby is dead. And we laid hands on that baby and prayed the prayer of faith right there. And you know what? In my arm, that baby started blowing bubbles out of his mouth. Yeah. Hallelujah. God raised him from the dead. God is a miracle worker. If you believe God, God will still do it. And I'll believe God, God will do it. Amen. And we've seen many, many miracles since that time. And God is still moving in a supernatural way. Amen. And we believe in God to pack this place out. He's on his way. Amen. How many are going to believe God with me? He's going to pack it out. The cry of the lay is coming. We're going to pack this and out and then build another one. Amen. Isn't God good? Yeah. Praise God. We've seen God do some great and mighty things. And I thank God for the people, praise God, that stood with us, prayed with us, praise God. Help us. Praise God. We went through many, many trials. I mean, some tremendous trials. Every day wasn't Sunday. Amen. There's been time, praise God, I had to take money, praise God, and food out of my kids' mouth to put them to church. I never will forget one Saturday night. Because Sister Murray was sewing up the kids' clothes, and I laying across the bed praying. And, and I turned on and said, Sister Murray, I guess you know I don't have no money for grocery this weekend. And I thank God for Sister Murray. Yeah. There's not many women like Sister Murray. Yeah. Out of all the time we've been together, and how long we've been married? What, 67? 57, 57 years. Amen. And not one time have we had a falling out. Amen. Not one time we separated because of something. Amen. Amen. We've been together ever since we've been married. Because I don't play leaving. I don't play that. Amen. Amen. I believe God married you. You're supposed to stick together. Amen. How many believe it that way? Amen. Amen. Praise God. But we've had some tough times. 
There's been times, praise God, I had to fast. And I wasn't really fasting either. I mean, I went weeks at a time, praise God, I didn't have money to buy food. What little bit we had, we gave it to the kids. Amen. Amen. Pray God, I'd go on the job and I'd go to work when dinner time come. When other people would go to eat lunch, I'd go somewhere and go to sleep because I didn't have nothing to eat. Amen. And sometimes I'd be coming home, pray God, riding the bus, come home. Pray God, pass about a few stand that they would tell you, no, ain't got nothing to die. I'll take that, get that. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. Every yeah, time, pray God, I got tipped a good steel, pray God, that God would speak to me. And I, well, let me tell you something. For all that food ever been able to out, God would send somebody in there with a bill of grocery. Right. Have you ever had God to buy you a bill of grocery? Yeah, yeah. Well, he, buy, he, he buys everything. Yeah. And one more testimony, pray God. Pray God, and I, I'm a person I never believe in forsaking my family. Amen. Pray God. I've had some tough times, but I never have been set out. Amen. Because I felt like if I could keep a roof over my head, I could make it. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I had to do without food. I had to take my car back and turn it in. I didn't wait till they picked it up. I, I took it back home and gave it to him. Told the man I wasn't able to pay for it. He didn't want to take it. But I said, I'm not able to pay for it. Praise God. So I didn't wait till it got behind. I took it back and told him. And caught the bus back to Dallas. Amen. Praise God. It got well. Pray God. We couldn't even buy milk for the babies. And Sister Murphy would go to the door and she'd tell the man, I can't take no milk today because I can't, I can't pay you for last month. He said, them babies got to have some milk and he would he left milk there a whole winter. Yeah. Amen. A whole winter. He said, them babies got to have some milk and I believe he paid for them. But you know what? That spring, the Lord smiled on me. And I don't know that man one dime. I paid every bit of it back. And God's a miracle.